Indo-Pakistani Wars and Conflicts Wars Indo-Pakistani War of 1947 The war, also called the First Kashmir War, started in October 1947 when Pakistan feared that the Maharaja of the princely state of Kashmir and Jammu would accede to India. Following partition, princely states were left to choose whether to join India or Pakistan or to remain independent. Jammu and Kashmir, the largest of the princely states, had a majority Muslim population and significant fraction of Hindu population, all ruled by the Hindu Maharaja Hari Singh. Tribal Islamic forces with support from the Army of Pakistan attacked and occupied parts of the princely state forcing the Maharaja to sign the instrument of accession of the princely state to the Dominion of India to receive Indian military aid. The UN Security Council passed Resolution 47 on April 22, 1948. The front solidified gradually along what came to be known as the line of control. A formal ceasefire was declared at 23.59 on the night of January 1, 1949. India gained control of about two-thirds of the state, Kashmir Valley, Jammu and Ladakh, whereas Pakistan gained roughly a third of Kashmir, Azad Kashmir, and Gilgit Baltistan. The Pakistan-controlled areas are collectively referred to as Pakistan-administered Kashmir. Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 This war started following Pakistan's Operation Gibraltar, which was designed to infiltrate forces into Jammu and Kashmir to precipitate an insurgency against rule by India. India retaliated by launching a full-scale military attack on West Pakistan. The 17-day war caused thousands of casualties on both sides and witnessed the largest engagement of armored vehicles and the largest tank battle since World War II. The hostilities between the two countries ended after a ceasefire was declared following diplomatic intervention by the Soviet Union and USA and the subsequent issuance of the Tashkent Declaration. India had the upper hand over Pakistan when the ceasefire was declared. Indo-Pakistani War of 1971 this war was unique in the way that it did not involve the issue of Kashmir, but was rather precipitated by the crisis created by the political battle brewing in erstwhile East Pakistan between Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, leader of East Pakistan, and Yahya Khan and Sulfakar Ali Bhutto, leaders of West Pakistan. This would culminate in the declaration of independence of Bangladesh from the state system of Pakistan. Following Operation Searchlight in the 1971 Bangladesh atrocities, about 10 million Bengalis in East Pakistan took refuge in neighboring India. India intervened in the ongoing Bangladesh liberation movement. After a large-scale preemptive strike by Pakistan, full-scale hostilities between the two countries commenced. Pakistan attacked at several places along India's western border with Pakistan but the Indian Army successfully held their positions. The Indian Army quickly responded to the Pakistan Army's movements in the West and made some initial gains, including capturing around 5,795 square miles, 15,010 square kilometers, of Pakistan territory, land gained by India in Pakistani Kashmir, Pakistani Punjab and Sindh sectors but gifted it back to Pakistan in the Simla Agreement of 1972, as a gesture of goodwill. Within two weeks of intense fighting, Pakistani forces in East Pakistan surrendered to the joint command of Indian and Bangladeshi forces following which the People's Republic of Bangladesh was created. This war saw the highest number of casualties in any of the India-Pakistan conflicts, as well as the largest number of prisoners of war since the Second World War after the surrender of more than 90,000 Pakistani military and civilians. In the words of one Pakistani author, Pakistan lost half its navy, a quarter of its air force and a third of its army. Indo-Pakistani War of 1999 Commonly known as the Kargil War, this conflict between the two countries was mostly limited. During early 1999, Pakistani troops infiltrated across the line of control, Lok, and occupied Indian territory mostly in the Kargil district. India responded by launching a major military and diplomatic offensive to drive out the Pakistani infiltrators. Two months into the conflict, Indian troops had slowly retaken most of the ridges that were encroached by the infiltrators. According to official count, an estimated 75% to 80% of the intruded area and nearly all high ground was back under Indian control. Fearing large-scale escalation in military conflict, the international community, 
led by the United States, increased diplomatic pressure on Pakistan to withdraw forces from remaining Indian territory. Faced with the possibility of international isolation, the already fragile Pakistani economy was weakened further. The morale of Pakistani forces after the withdrawal declined as many units of the Northern Light Infantry suffered heavy casualties. The government refused to accept the dead bodies of many officers, an issue that provoked outrage and protests in the northern areas. Pakistan initially did not acknowledge many of its casualties, but Nawaz Sharif later said that over 4,000 Pakistani troops were killed in the operation and that Pakistan had lost the conflict. By the end of July 1999, organized hostilities in the Kargil district had ceased. The war was a major military defeat for the Pakistani army, 